Kim Ingalls and these are the highlights of the NWG Innovation Festival 2018. Enjoy! Good morning, welcome to the Innovation Festival here at Northumbrian Water and I'm going to show you a little bit around the site. I just couldn't believe how successful it was last year given in a way it was a giant experiment and we had no idea what was going to happen after day one but we got some great ideas so this year to double everything pretty much or even triple it then I think you know we're going to just see some incredible things. Well what I think is really exciting about this festival is that it's all about challenges it's not it's not just a sort of general innovative uh, coming together it's actually they've been given very specific there are 13 what they would have been called sprint tents um, and each of these tents has been given a very specific challenge. A, a sprint has a certain structure it's a process that we use uh, that sort of helps us to generate innovative ideas scientists technologists engineers artists everybody comes together to work out how can you solve it on Friday then is that sort of big show and tell so it's a chance for you to pitch your idea and to get some sponsorship or some investment to take it forward. It's so exciting to be here at the Innovation Festival because it's a real celebration of what we're good at up here and is inspiring the young people who are coming here from schools, about STEM and everything. That's just really lovely to be part of, so yeah, I'm dead lucky. Well, I was here last year and I loved it. I loved the whole environment. It's about double in size. I can't believe the breadth of people, of subjects, of sponsors. I think it's a fantastic event. I've been really, really impressed with the level of energy. I've been able to see uh, the apps that people have been developing their concepts, uh, new ideas of how we can encourage customers to use water more wisely, a lot of thinking about how we get people to, to reduce their use of plastics, not just think about how we reuse and, and recycle. So we are trying to find a solution to dog waste on the streets, so we want to remove single-use plastics. Now I hear that means you've got to get this poor guide dog to poo on demand. It would be um, good to demonstrate that, that the, the use of that poo and how organic it is and the, the emissions that we could be using are, are taking off the streets from collecting dog waste and going into landfill. So uh, we've been looking at how best to engage with customers, um, working out that we've got different types of customers who will engage for different reasons. So we were looking at schemes that would um, reward in different ways. Yeah, um, we're thinking from a business perspective, but part of that is engaging with the customer. So um, we want to, we came up with the concept of an app. We've been looking at really how we can create the future water companies, you know, that's what our sprint's about. And this is taking it to the most extreme. So this is kind of saying, if Uber came into the water company and completely disrupted the model, what would it look like? We would gather all the water that fell, we would actually recycle it in the house, we would be really low water consumption in the house, we would actually be heating the water without actually uh, in solar panels, uh, solar tubes on the roof, so it completely decentralised, very self-sufficient. Is that realistic? Anything's realistic, anything's possible. So we started off with, the whole notion is about trying to figure out how we can share from an asset management perspective and underground physically where stuff is. So imagine you've got different data buckets. So what we're looking for is data source one, two, three. All of these bits of information need to be going into some kind of central database or warehouse that we can actually use to cleanse, manage, maintain, and then feed that out into this beautiful baby. Snipes trained to detect chlorine in the water. Here we go, this is what we've been working towards, the pitches. You can be part of that company today. That company is called Reservoir. It's a digital company. What it helps you do is it helps you collect and then reuse water in and around your own home. It's also gonna train the next generation to make that happen. Ornance survey, 
Vodafone for 227 years of mapping everything above the ground, we thought, hey, let's try and map everything maybe below the ground. Those jams are going to go away. We'll have less congestion. We'll avoid those costly strikes. And we can dig safely. One hour's walk in our northern cities is equivalent to smoking four cigarettes. One and a half of those cigarettes is transport. We all have an impact on what we do. We've come up with Drop Swap, which is a, a trading scheme, but it's simple to use. And by developing good water using habits, they can trade. So they, they receive a big discount on their bill, but they can also plough money back into the community locally or internationally. The pitch was brilliant. We've got people who are saying that they want to come and experience what we've developed so they can bring happiness to their employees as well. We've had so many people telling us what to, how they think it ought to work, and we've tried to take all of that into account. We're going to be demonstrating it in just a few moments down the other end of the tent. Go out, spread the message and let's get that ripple effect going before we even get those fantastic ideas done. It's time to make a change. It's clear, you know, we've developed some really uh, game-changing ideas here, things that will benefit us as a company, things that will benefit our customers and things that will benefit the environment and society as well. What a turbulent week it's been, but more highs than lows here at the NWG Innovation Festival at Newcastle Racecourse. Our sprints have been fantastic, as have all of our contributors. We hope you've enjoyed sharing it with us here on IFTV. We will be back next year, but for now, from all of us, goodbye. Yeah.